Hello, so in last week's video we were looking at Practical Electronics January 1978, which was covering the rhythm generator. For the musician, 12 switch selected rhythms, 8 percussion voices. So yeah, we had a flick through and we had a little uh, little cheeky look and you know, there's a little, there's even a lie detector in this month's, uh, yeah, Ingenuity Unlimited. This is when um, in every single Practical Electronics there is a, a part where uh, uh, these have been sent in by readers, little different, different, uh, circuits oh my god we've got to find that jubilee universal cabinet from mentor electronics now that is a snazzy looking cabinet imagine that in your living room in the 1970s wonder bar so in last week's video we built the sinusoidal oscillator drums the twin t drums there was four of them in total a bass drum a low bongo a high bongo and a clav clave for short and uh there that circuit was here and uh, here this is a circuit we built last week this is the strip board layout we built last week and this is what it sounded like So here is the first aspect of the noise drums. It's the noise making part and it's actually a pretty similar circuit to the free component noise making machine from a couple of videos ago. So uh, yeah, it's just a transistor, a resistor that right in this, in this design is actually a variable potentiometer, you'll see there. And then it's got this resistor right here, which is here. So if you have a listen, We've got noise. So all of the red bits have been put in. You can see I've been crossing it off rather smudgily. And hopefully, in theory, when we uh, put some signal through this, we, we should be able to hear something. You can hear there's a lot of background noise. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge this in with the original twin T drum sound, which is right here. It's on top. The way these are designed, they're not very friendly for being uh, adjusted tone-wise. You would want to try and kind of fundamentally build it in a different way to get the to be able to make it an adjustable drum sound. But we're trying to get the we're trying to we're trying to get the essence of the practical electronics uh, drum machine here. But it's a good start off. Sounds really nice. Oh, oh. So I've gone ahead and added to the original strip board layout of this and made a little space on the bottom for the noise circuit. This encapsulates the whole snare drum sound. And the thing is, is if you use it without the bongo, it sounds a little bit like a hi-hat. And if you use it with the bongo, it sounds like a snare. And then if you use just the bongo, it's just a bongo. It's a bit more space saving because I went to go and put a hi-hat onto this bit of strip board layout and I very quickly ran out of space to make another filtering circuit. And it ended up being rather the similar because I actually took a filtering capacitor out of the snare drum because it sounded a little bit crisper and I do like it quite tinny and stuff. So my preference is a little bit less filtered than it is in the design. So this strip board is right here and yeah, let's have a listen and see what this all sounds like, shall we?
You know what? I am really quite pleased with how that sounds. That sounds pretty damn nice. Like the snare is good. I have actually done a little bit of a change to the schematic. I've got to be honest. The snare, uh, they state the snare as being the uh, high bongo and the snare, but the low bongo and the snare has so much more body to it that well, it's just crazy not to do the low monk, low, the low bongo going into it. What I haven't done is tested it with some diodes and stuff to try the hi hat as the high end of the snare. The snare part is like a t -t 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 -t, and then just the bongo. So it means in theory we have six sounds with this circuit. Uh, you could try it and build it. The next video part of this, I'm going to build a sequencer that's going to talk to all of these so I can actually put it on a like, a, you know, have it as a display with a speaker coming out in the museum just have it as a rubbish little drum machine but it's not actually that rubbish it's actually pretty damn good sounding and, and I'm probably actually going to make a module out of this because it's it just sounds so nice it sounds so anyway that's the end of it for this video just the noise part of this circuit catch me next time doing the sequencer I've already actually started the sequencer over on Patreon uh, last night I did a uh, live stream sort of beginning my kind of plan I'm trying to do something a little bit different I'm not using Arduinos and stuff as a cop-out and I'm not actually using uh, the M253 chip which is inside the magazine and, and I'm not even using a 4017 chip which is what people have suggested to do over on Patreon so I'm actually going for something a little bit different a little bit weird and it's just hopefully an exercise to kind of uh, you know, open my mind and open minds and stuff. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in that, go and check it out over there. And if not, then uh, there will be a edited version of this in about a week's time. The, the, needless to say, the Patreon and all that stuff supports this stuff. It supports the opening of the museum, which is actually going to be quite soon because UK is coming out of lockdown. Boom, boom, boom. And then also the machines over on the Look Mum No Computer channel, which are a bit more wacky and stuff and got a lot of plans coming up and stuff like that. Anyway, I've been Sam. Have a lovely time. That's the, uh, the drum thing and enjoy yourself.